Hey everyone, I wanted to take a few minutes and just kind of show you my thought process on how I prepare um, to do an art journal page or a mixed media page. Um, at any point in time, I can walk into my craft area and I will have um, hmm, um, different piles of things together for another page. So what I mean by that is um, I do a lot by color. So color, when I see colors that go together that I think will look well together, I place them in little piles. And not that they're huge piles by any means, um, but let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So for example, so my granddaughter, she loves to do art stuff. And she had created this page for me, which, of course, I knew right away I was going to use on, on, you know, in one of my journals. And then she also drew me this shoe and colored it in. And then the other day she was asking me, she wrote, wrote would breakfast. So actually asking me if I wanted breakfast. <laughs> um because I was doing a video, so she came in with a note. But anyways, so like this to me is going to go together, and I'm going to end up doing an art journal page with those things. Something else um, that I've put together, and I've had these together for a little while now. Um, so some of them I received in swaps, some I have made. But like these have like green tones to them, and they're they're different shades of green. I hope they're they're showing up okay on the on the video. Um, but like I have these together because I know I want to use them together on a page. So that's another little grouping that I have. My two more recent groupings. Well, I shouldn't say more recent, but um, are these two right here. Um, so. I have two pit pens, one in black, one in pink. And so what inspires this is, so I had a swap with Tammy, uh, with napkins. So Tammy, I'm loving them. And you're going to see um, how much I'm going to be using them right here. So I had this little rose cut out. It was actually from, from an Avon magazine. And I had this and it was like, sitting on my little table next to me, staring me in the face. So then Tammy sends me these awesome napkins. Now look at this. Does this not match? <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> so obviously I put these together and then looking through her napkins. I'm loving this. Like I like the word. Oh, I love everything on here. But so, and I also had this. And again, it's just... And here's some cheesecloth. And I also went and I pulled out some chipboard pieces from Graphic 45. So this is another set that I have ready to go. Um, and so what I'll do is one day, you know, I'll come in and I'll take one of these groupings and work with it. I'll see what else I have in my stash. And I'll kind of show you real quick how I look through my stash. Um... And then I end up with a bigger pile, and then, <clears throat> you know, then I go ahead and I make a page. So, with this particular um, grouping right here, um, <clears throat> it was inspired by this. So, like I just mentioned, Tammy and I, we had a... I think this was from Tammy. Oh, isn't that funny? Oh, now I forget. This is from a swap that I just did. I just got this. I think it's from Tammy uh, with the napkins. And so this inspired me. So it's a piece of um, duct tape. And it's really, really, really pretty. Then I also had this little piece of uh, washi tape from another package I received. And I thought that they went well together. So this is what started this whole little grouping. Then I looked through the napkins that Tammy sent. And... There were actually so many that went with this, but, oh, and here was some more washi tape ah, that I pulled off of another 
swap package. So let me put these down here. So again, you can see, not only am I trying to use oops, everything that I receive, but um, when the colors go together, I put them together. Um, this is actually a piece from um, the stuff that I received from Marissa, as well as other stuff here. But here's the napkins. So again, I'm trying to match, not match, I want something that will look good with that big piece of duct tape. So I thought this was cute. I thought this was cute. I mean, look at all this fun stuff. Of course, Easter's coming. I'll probably go with that. And I also like this as well. So as you can see, if I decide to go with the Easter um, napkin, so, you know, these are the colors that I have so far. We're all looking good together. Then also from Marissa is I had this piece, this frame, and plus these two cut out flowers in green. So I liked that, that it was green. And this was also from Marissa and I have it out and I'm thinking, you know, maybe something like that. You know, I don't know. If I go with Easter, I probably won't use this card. But when I was first looking, I really thought that, you know, these colors would go well. So I have that. And let's see. So I received a cute little um, Easter stuff, like little like little shapes and sequins kind of thing from Juliana from a Crazy Island family swap. So I have that. So that's Eastery. I pulled out some buttons. I pulled out some paint. And I have this butterfly because I thought if I used this wood piece, it would be nice to have it like another little, this is chipboard, but, <clears throat> you know, I thought it would look good together. So that's it. So this is another little grouping that I have, and it all came from this piece of duct tape from a package. So that's another little grouping that I have. So that's what I do. So again, when I walk in here and I'm ready to go ahead and do a page, I'm not starting from scratch. I have ideas. Doesn't mean I have to use them, um, but I have something I can walk in here and say, oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that page today. So let me show you. And I'm going to take my iPad off of the tripod right here. So I'm moving you. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> and it's very, very, very sunny. So I think my camera is going to need to adjust. So here's the, oh, here's the snow. Here's the snow out in my backyard that's been there for months. <laughs> so I'm glad to have some sun. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is what I look out my window when I'm sitting here doing my, my art. And so when I need some more pieces to use on my pages, I go and I look right over here. So it's within hand's reach. And the first place that I go to is this particular shelf right here that has crazy island family swap stuff so i have everything from the swap that we just did um, for stamping on like tissue paper or paper or deli paper to i have the swap for washi tape i have i keep in here well let me just take this box down so again this is all whoops i have to move this stuff sorry Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't plan on putting this down here. Um, so in this box, I just have like a little half of a box here. And I have this plastic container where I have a lot of the pieces. So I have borders, I have tags, I have um, tickets in here. And there's a, another like layer in this plastic bin that has some flowers. And then back here are all different swaps from Crazy Island Family. So I really enjoy going to this shelf and pulling different fun stuff 
that I've received in Swap. So that's one place I go right away and to see what's there and, and what I can use. Then I have, you know, some homemade stamps and stamps that I really enjoy using. So those are right at hand. And th then down on the next shelf, so I have um, some jelly printed papers. I have like some leftover like like pieces of napkins and and that kind of stuff. And over here, I have some flowers that I made from jelly plated prints and just all kinds of stuff. I have some canvas, I have some sayings and stuff like little metal pieces. And then at the very, very, very bottom is some more stamps, some six by six pads and some more stamps. And then right to the side of me, I have this. And this isn't intended to be a, you know, show my scrap room, or not my scrap room, my mixed media room, but this is sitting right next to me. So I'm literally, where I am right now, where I'm standing is where I sit. So this is within arm's reach. So is that. And come around here, there's my table. And then I look over here. What do I have over here that I would like to use? I've got all kinds of stuff. I don't even, you know, want to get into all this stuff. But, um, you know, I certainly look down here at my inks and my, my different paints. And then over here, so this is on the right side of me when I'm sitting, is all of this stuff. In fact, I think I'm going to sit. So let me just sit here. Sorry. So one of the things, you know, these are my bins, right? So these are different bins sitting on a table next to me. And this is where I keep <clears throat> a lot of, you know, goodies to put on a, on a page. And then these are smaller pieces that I don't want to get rid of. This is what I have left from Marissa. These are from just different places. I have some paint pens and graphic 45 stuff. And then down here I have a lot of paints and a lot of um, inks and alcohol inks and inks from Stampin' Up and all kinds of stuff. And then I have some paints over here. I My paint, distress paint, is, is not in there. Uh, but that's about it. So that's what I do. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.